Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create beautiful card slide down hover animation using Elementor Page Builder. So you can put here any image or your portfolio image and when you hover over on that image, the additional information with the image will slide down with a beautiful animation. And we will be doing this using Elementor Page Builder. So let's now start from the beginning. So first I'm deleting this whole section. Let's now start from scratch. First take a section with three column structure and first let's make its height to minimum height and here I'm giving the height in VH. Let's make it 100 VH. Also here set column position to top. Alright, let's now do some styling. So here I'm adding background color. Let's add here a navy blue color. Also let's add some padding at the top. So from here unbind the padding. And at the top here, I'm adding 200 pixel of padding. Now let's select the middle column, this one. And here I'm giving this column a background color. I'm giving it the solid white background color. So I'm selecting white color. Also, let's add some spacing from under advanced tab. Unbind the margin. Okay, first let's add 10 pixel of margin all around it. And then unbind it because only on bottom I want to add 50 pixel of margin. Also let's add 25 pixel of padding all around it. Now I want to insert image within this column. So click on the Rubik's Cube icon and let's drag an image widget here. First let's select an image. I'm selecting this image. Click on insert media. Now let's do some styling with it. So here width, let's make it 100%. Height here, I'm giving it 260 pixel. And here object fit, let's make it cover. And also let's add some border radius, maybe 8 pixel. And let's add some box shadow with it. I'm just keeping the default box shadow. Now let's do some spacing. So let's go under advanced tab because now I want to position the image at the top. I mean at the top of this column. So I want to use some negative margin with this image. From here let's unbind the margin and at the top here I'm setting minus 60 pixel. So first I'm setting minus 6 and adding a 0. So it's minus 60. Also, let's add 20 pixel margin at the bottom. All right, let's now add some text with it. So here I'm dragging the text editor underneath the image widget here. Now here, before this paragraph text, I want to add a heading. So here I'm writing card one, then put a space. Now select the card one text and make it heading two. Perfect. And let's now go under style tab and I'm making the alignment to centered. Let's now go under advanced tab because I want to add a class name with this text and you also need to write the exact class name what I'm writing here. So here I'm giving it a class name that's content dash text. Remember you need to put the exact class name the content dash text because we will be doing some CSS following this class name. Alright, so we are done with our structure. Now I will be adding some custom CSS with it. So let's now select the column. I'm clicking on this column icon from under its advanced tab. Let's now scroll down. Here we'll find the custom CSS option. By the way, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro version. I will put the Elementor Pro purchase link in the description. If you don't have Elementor Pro already, you can purchase Elementor Pro from the description link. And now you will be writing some custom CSS code here. But no worries because I already have written the custom CSS code for you. You just need to go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this pages link in the description as well. From that page if you scroll down a bit here you can see card slide down animation CSS. I'm just copying this whole code snippet from here. And let's now go inside our Elementor page builder. And inside custom CSS I'm pasting the CSS code here. So I'm explaining this code but before that here have a look if we now hover over on the card you see the text is sliding down from the top to bottom. Okay so I'm explaining the CSS code first of all I'm making the column height to 250 pixel. So I'm just showing you from where the height is coming here you can see 250 pixel. So if I make it 350 pixel you see it's now 350 but I want to keep it 250 pixel. And then here you can see the selector hover. So when we hover over on it, the height is becoming 430 pixel. 
let me show you if we make it 530 pixel now if we hover over on it you see the height is now more bigger it's now 530 pixel but i want to keep it 430 pixel that's basically it and you see the text here so initially the content text i made its margin top to minus 200 pixel that's why right now it's at the top minus 200 pixel position and on hover we made the text position to unset so at this moment you can see the text over the image and if we hover over on the card it slides down to the bottom on the unset position but now here I want to do another thing. I don't want to put the text over the image. I want to put this text under this image. So for that reason, I want to increase the Z index of this image. So let's now click over this image. And from here, I'm making the Z index to 1. Right now, the text is behind the image. Otherwise, everything is working perfectly. If we hover over on the card, you see the text slides from top to bottom. Cool. Now I just want to duplicate this column couple more times. So from here, let's just duplicate this column right clicking here, click on duplicate. Again, right click here and click on duplicate. And let's now delete the empty columns from left and also from right side. Now we have got our three columns. So first from the left one, I'm changing this image to other image. I'm selecting this image. So here you have got our image and it says card one on the second one this image looks perfect but here instead of card one I want it to say card two and on the third one here instead of card one I want it to say card three also let's change this image to other image I'm selecting this image click on insert media right now everything is looking really cool and it looks really perfect. And lastly, I just want to check how it looks on mobile device. So from here, let's click on responsive mode. So on mobile device, it looks perfect as well. So let's now have a look from the top. So here, if we hover over on it, it looks perfect. Here is the second card and here is our last card. Everything showing perfectly. All right, let's close the responsive view. So when you are happy with it, just click here on this green update button to save our work. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also press on that bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again thank you so much for watching this full tutorial. I will see you on the next video. For now, bye bye.